Hebrews chapter 10. Verse 30, and it reads, For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord, and again the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. First and foremost, only give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. A fearful thing. It's a fearful thing. And we're watching the news now. You see? I'm watching the news now. Somebody got blasted down. A dude got found. He was missing, got found. He was deleted. Yeah, yeah. War, you got wars going on. Everybody's being caught up in the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The Lord said he's he going to pay them back. You see, deadly lightning strikes all over the earth. Anybody can get it. Look, look, record breaking temperatures. People, people having heat strokes. Thousands of people just died from, from the heat alone, young and old. Why? Because it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. The Lord's controlling everything. We, we thought you knew that already. You see? Hebrews 10 and 30. For we know him that have said, vengeance belong unto me. That's why we just teach the word and hold our peace. Anybody coming at us ill will, the Lord's going to handle them. You see? The Lord's going to handle these people. The only thing the Lord wants us to do is just, just teach. Just teach the word like all the prophets of old did. They taught the word. Anybody that came up to them, because remember the scripture say, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. Because the only thing the prophet's doing is giving the word. And then they're trying to take the word off the streets, which we knew that anyway. They're trying to take the word off the internet. They're trying to take the word off the streets, which we knew that anyway. But one thing we do know according to the Bible, the Hebrew Israelites that don't take heed to these words, you're going to lose your mind. You're going to go crazy because the only thing that's going to keep you stable, keep us stable in these times is Isaiah 33 and 6. And you don't know nothing about that. For we know him that have said vengeance belong unto me. The Lord is willing and dealing. He's going throughout the earth, man, giving people the business. I will recompense, said the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And again, the Lord shall judge his people with vengeance, with violence, with mayhem, with chaos, with tribulation, right? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. If the Lord was all love, love, why, why is it saying that it's a fearful thing to fall into his hands? If the Lord is all about love and he's good all the time, why is it a fearful thing to fall into his hands? You, you people don't know nothing yet. You, you, if you people only knew, man, you, you, you don't know. You don't know. In the, in the last days, perilous times shall come. Who's making the perilous times come down the pipeline? The Lord, man. And then the thing about it, the Lord said he's going to leave the majority of you Israelites there, man. Just, just leave you there. Just leave you in all that hell, which is a condition played out on earth, man. No way to escape Jeremiah chapter 11. And it's just a quick hit. I'm about to head out. Jeremiah chapter 11. Let's see. Let's see where I want to start it at. I started at 7. Jeremiah 11 and 7. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt. Even until this day, 2022, the year turn up, right? It says, even until this day, rising early in protest and saying, obey my voice. Who's the voice of the Lord? The prophets. The prophets, man. All right? Surely the Lord power would do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets as to his service. The prophets, so you can get Hebrews 1 and 1. The Lord always spoke through the prophets, right? It says, yet, yet they obey not. No incline their ear, but walk everyone in the imagination of his of their evil heart, meaning their mind, that wicked evil mind. Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant. Go and read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, verse 15 on down. What would happen if we didn't take heed, if we didn't listen to the prophets, which, are, which was the Lord speaking through them? It says, I will bring upon you all the words of this covenant. Which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. But they did them not, Israel. And the Lord said unto me, a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem, all twelve tribes. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers. Because they are their forefathers coming back, right? 
can't make something straight that was created to be crooked, right? Which refused to hear my words. And they went after other gods. Same gods, different names, right? And they went after other gods, which was idols, to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah has broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. The covenant and the agreement was made with our forefathers, right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not you heathens. You have nothing to do with this. You heathens have nothing to do with this, right? Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai, behold, I will bring evil. That's what you see now. You see an evil, meaning bad times come upon Israel, man. And I will bring evil upon them, meaning these bad times. Which they shall not be able to escape. Remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And I will bring evil upon them, right? Early in the morning, the Lord's bringing evil upon you, right? Which they, well, look, which they shall not be able to escape. You see? Arresting four deletions. You see? For somebody deleted four people. Come on, man. It's going down. That's part of the evils, man. Just like that woman that, um, that ran through that light in Cali, she deleted all those people, but she's still alive. She's still alive. That's the Lord right there bringing evil on Jake, man. Oh, a woman and her daughter, no saying, got deleted, man. You see? Which they shall not be able to escape, and though they shall cry unto me. Don't cry now. You should have been signed and crying. You Israelites should have been signed and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst of rubber. Then as soon as you lose your job, as soon as you end up in the hospital, as soon as something happens to you, as soon as Curious George come pay you a visit, now it's time to hoop and holler. Come on, man. As soon as Felicia, Laquisha, Tanisha, Fel uh, I said Felicia already, and all them, and they name them, come visit you, now it's Lord, Lord, Lord. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken. He ain't going to listen unto you. Remember, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Since thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. It's time to seek the Lord, man. I will not hearken unto them. Then the cities, then shall the cities of Judah, a people before us a place, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, a people before us a place, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, go and cry unto the gods, unto whom... They offer incense, but they shall not save them in, at all in the time of their trouble because they're idols. And I want to get that right quick. These false gods, Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, the Hindu God of Shiva, they all idols. They can't help you. When all hell start really cracking off and breaking off, however you want to say it, them idols ain't going to be able to save you, y'all. Let's get this. Psalms 96 and 4. For the Lord, Yahweh. But Hashem Shai is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Did you hear that? He is to be feared. The Lord wants us to fear them. All right? That's the beginning of knowledge. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens, man. All right? But Yahweh by Hashem Shai made the heavens. Remember, all the issues of death. And let's just get that. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm in Psalms. Let's just get it right quick. Let's just go ahead and get it. All the issues of death come of the Lord. The pastor should have been told you that, man. All right? Your pastor should have been told you that. Psalm 68. But he won't dare Monday. Psalms 68 and 20. And it reads. Look at this. Through. All oh, them through. Lord. Man. Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our power. I'm looking at the news. Our people through you really through Israel. Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our power is the God of salvation. And unto, and unto the Most High, who you eagerly call God, the Most High Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call Jesus, belong the issues from death. Look, look, the, all the issues of death come from the Lord, man. More reasons why we should fear. You see? It's, especially when, when it's the Lord bringing all the plagues. I didn't type that in. Let's get this. Let's just get this right quick. I got two more scriptures and I'm gonna wrap it up. I gotta go. Got the head in. Um Sirach chapter 40, verse 26. Riches and strength lift up the heart, meaning the mind, 
but the fear of the Lord. Did you hear this, Israel? But the fear of the Lord is above them both. There is no want in the fear of the Lord, and it needeth not to seek health, man. Seek help. You see, Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29, fear the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with all thy soul and reverence his priest. Look up the word reverence now. It says to reverence his priest, but people are mocking, they scoffing, but then, then the Lord is bugging them the hell out. So Rock 34, 14, Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. The things that are coming down the pipeline, if you fear the God of the Bible, then you ain't got to worry about nothing. You, you do not have to worry about nothing if you fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, right? You see? Sirach 2 and 8, ye that fear the Lord, believe him, believe him, and your reward shall not fail, man. You see? Let's see what else. Sirach on 10 and 22, whether he be rich, noble, or poor, their glory is in the fear of the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? Jumping down to verse uh, 20, Sirach 10 and 20. Among brethren, he that is chief is honorable. So are they that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in his eyes. You know, the Lord taketh pleasure in, in us fearing him, right? Now, I want to get that. I want to get that in closing. I want to get that in closing. It's going on down. Bear with me. There it is. Psalms 147. I put it on the screen. It's my last one. Psalm chapter 147 and 11. The Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, taketh pleasure in them that fear him. You, did you see that? And those that hope in his mercy, because we're prisoners of hope. The Lord wants us to fear, damn it. All this love, 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 love. The Lord taketh pleasure in us fearing him. You see? In, the, in those that hope in his mercy. More reasons on why we should fear the Lord. Shalom.